Tell me, tell me where we are. We are at an open house for the Red Rock Pass. Um, we're looking at reconfiguring the program and we'd like to hear back from the public on their thoughts. Mr. Smith got a ticket out on the Vaulty Arch Trail on a, a relatively remote uh, trailhead and Judge Aspie found that um, he really should not have been given a ticket, that um, the area did not have the amenities that are required by the Recreation Enhancement Act. We're looking at reconfiguring the program and we'd like to hear back from the public on their thoughts. We do have many um, areas that are fairly isolated. They don't have uh, the six amenities that are called out in the Recreation Enhancement Act. We are collecting uh, revenue. Uh, people are buying Red Rock passes if they're going to sites that have those amenities. And so if they see a fee machine, if they see sites that say it's a fee area, then yes, they need to have a Red Rock Pass. The Forest Service is underpaid, understaffed, and underfunded for the responsibilities that it's required to undertake. Volunteers help fill the gap, but the money that was supplied by the Red Rock Pass program is needed and we must figure out some way to get it or to replace it. And if they can't do it, then it's time to cut some jobs. We have some sites that are privatized already. We, um, in other words, we have a concessionaire operating Crescent Moon, uh, Call of the Canyon, or West Fork, and Grasshopper. And we have concessionaires uh, running those because we, we need a 24-hour presence at those sites. They're very heavily visited. They say that they have no money, but places like West Fork and Crescent Moon and Slide Rock, which are their biggest profit centers, they subcontract out those to recreational resource management because they're too lazy to administer the sites that can make them the most money. If they were administered those sites, yes, there'd be cost involved, but they would make more money back in terms of all that extra revenue when they're charging $10 a vehicle for usage. I think the program needs to be amended maybe. I think there needs to be some changes. If it were possible, I would prefer to see the original Red Rock Pass program reinstated. Uh, we have concessionaires. We can use uh, privately owned companies, can operate our sites. So our, our, our very busiest sites that have amenities, um, we could go to a concessionaire at those sites. Um, we could... Um, you know, it, it may be that some sites we'd want to make more rustic. They wouldn't have as many amenities, like we may need to shut down toilets. They, they do cost a lot of money. On the other hand, if those are sites that get a lot of visitation, you can't afford not to have toilets because the people are there. Um, but there may be certain sections that we need to have um, people hiking into a little more rustic because we can't afford the heavy visitation. It's our land. We own the land. We're, we're U.S. citizens and we should all be able to recreate on it and play it on it and enjoy it as we see fit without destroying the land. And that's something I do every day. I love the land and I protect the land and uh, I just want to be able to enjoy it without giving them five dollars each time. Um, generally speaking, concessionaires uh, charge more money than we do. Uh, Forest Service is very hesitant to charge too much um, for sites and um, concessionaires come in and say we just can't make it a, a, a business if we're going to charge what you do. So. There are literally hundreds of, of, of people who help, volunteers. Without them we, would, we wouldn't be able to manage. Nothing changed in the ruling well, in Judge Smith's case. Wrong. His, his clerk had some things wrong in that ruling. In this process, we really need people to comment uh, wh if they're in support of the program, they think it's fine. A lot of times people won't comment when they're okay with a proposal. Uh, but in this case, we really need to show, if we're going to keep the Red Rock Pass, we need to show plenty of public support. So it's critical that people get online and uh, make a comment uh, if they are in favor. And certainly, if, uh, if they oppose the, the project, we want to hear from them too, and any ideas they might have on, on, on managing recreation in this busy area we have.